how did that reconnection with the spiritual aspect happen? So uh, when I was uh, younger, uh, when I was, uh, I don't know, like 14 years old, yeah. uh, my father had a lot of books. Uh, he was very well read. You know, yeah. He was very intellectual. And one of the books he had was by Alan Watts. Alan Watts was a spiritual leader in the 60s. Mm -hmm. And he uh, he spoke a lot about Buddhism and Zen. And I was 14 years old. I read that book. And it it kind of marked me. Like it, it touched me somehow. But, you know, I put that aside. And then I became atheist, etc. Mm -hmm. But that had opened the door for me already. So that later in life... Uh, that door had already been cracked open yeah. and I came back to that. Okay. And so when I was having a very intense corporate uh, role, I, uh, I felt like I had to balance that out somehow. Okay. And uh, I decided to start meditating mm -hmm. daily. Yeah. And I started very simply. I started with just five minutes every day. I would get up. I live close to the beach. I would go see the sunrise and would meditate with the sunrise only five minutes. That was challenging uh, in the beginning, but I kept doing it every single day. And of course, five minutes became 10, became 20 minutes, became even longer meditations. Um, I don't think it's the length of time. I think it's the fact of doing it every single day. Yeah. Um, I think that's the real magic in it. And that really started to open up new possibilities. I think that they say meditation is the greatest gift you can give to somebody else because as you meditate, you start to understand how your thoughts work yeah. and you start to be able to put your thoughts aside. And so you become less reactive to people because you can see where the thoughts are coming from. Yeah. And I had one experience. Uh, so my father, uh, as I said, was Brazilian. He's from Rio. So it spent Christmases uh, in Rio. Yeah. And uh, about 10 years ago, I decided to walk up to the Christ. Yeah. So there's the Christ, the Redeemer, Corcovado. Yeah. And even though uh, I was not religious, I figured uh, there's something important here. And I, instead of taking like the bus or the train up to the Christ, I start. I decided to walk. Yeah. And you know, Christmas is uh, summertime in um, in Brazil and Rio, it's very hot, yeah. and it's a 700 meter altitude. It's a very steep climb. Yeah. And uh, before climbing it, I had an intention. My question to the Christ was, why do the same patterns repeat themselves in my life? Whether it's my professional life or my personal life, why do the same things keep happening? And I walked up to the Christ with that question. And of course, I didn't get the answer immediately. Uh, but over the next year, I started to get the answer through meditations and other practices. I started to get some breakthroughs. Yeah. And so, so at the end of that year, I went back to the Christ, and this time in gratitude. I walked back up, this time in gratitude, because I felt I really had gotten the answers. It took a year to get the answers, but I started to get really significant answers that changed me, yeah. that transformed me. Yeah. 